<laughs> Let's give them what they want. Uh, I'm on a mission, I'm focusing on my vision yeah. Never see competition, cause all I know is I'm winning yeah. Always knew I was different, I knew it since the beginning I told them they never listen, but now they see that I'm gifted yeah. I really put in the work, uh, risk it for my reward yeah. Put my feet in the dirt, and not so water the soil uh -huh. Hey there Mr. Bell Poker Peeps, welcome to the vlog. Hey, if you've watched my vlog for very long, you know that I say that I'm a better tournament player than I am cash game player. Unfortunately, I haven't got to play in a whole lot of tournaments. The Winstar President's Day series was a week ago, and I wanted to play in a number of events. I didn't get to play in a number of events, but I did get to play in the main event. And so this vlog is going to be all about that main event. Windstar is my home casino, so I always feel good there. Um, I know the dealers, I know a lot of the players, comfortable surroundings, I know where to go to get food and all that kind of stuff. So I generally do pretty well there. Windstar Mini River main event. We're just getting started, 30,000 chips. All right, let go. So I started with 30,000 chips. <laughs> I think I was down to 22,000 chips in about five minutes. <laughs> so not a very good start, but then things turned around. So with blinds at 100, 200, I'm in the hijack with seven of clubs, eight of hearts. I have 26,500. Uh, it ends up being eight players at 200. So the flop with 1,600 in the pot is nine of hearts, six of hearts, three of diamonds. I flop open-ended. The plus one bets 700. I make the call. The cutoff then raises it up to 2,700. The under the gun, the plus one, and myself all make the call. So now we have an inflated pot of 12,400 for the turn, which is, bingo bongo, five of diamonds. The under the gun goes all in for my effective stack of 23,600. Next guy folds. I make the call, of course. I have the nuts right now. The other guy tanks and tanks and tanks, and he folds. The guy who shoved in had flopped a set of threes. The river with 59,600 in the pot is the eight of hearts, and I hold up and I win a really, really big one. Two hands later, the same guy uh, with 5,300 goes all in. I have ace of diamonds, king of diamonds. Uh, of course, I make the call, it's just two. I double him up, he has pocket eights, and I get no help on the uh, board. All right, blinds have increased to 100, 200 with a 200 ante. I'm in the big blind with 58,000, and I have pocket queens. The end of the gun makes 200, he limps in. An older player in the MP1, uh, who has 25,000, he makes it 2,500, very large raise. I make the call instead of pressing it, and the under the gun calls also. The flop with 7,800 in the pot comes, bingo bongo, queen of clubs, nine of clubs, five of diamonds. It goes check, check, check. The turn is the five of spades. I lead out for 1,000 chips into 7,800. <laughs> the next guy calls. The older player in the MP1 raises up to 8,000. Thousand, and he now has 14,500 behind. I think he can never fold here, so I shove all in. The next guy folds, and then he folds. Oh, I'm so mad at myself, that was so stupid. I had no reason to actually shove there. If I just smooth call there, I end up getting all of his chips. Ugh, bad play. All right, there's a very good player at our table, very aggressive, he's a professional. Uh, he's been very, very aggressive this whole time. I'm in the cutoff with King of Hearts, Seven of Hearts with 70,000. It ends up again being five of us at only 200. So the flop with 1,200 in the pot comes Ace of Spades, Six of Diamonds, Seven of Diamonds. It checks all the way around to me. I make it 700. Uh, the button and the big blind call. The turn with 3,300 in the pot is the King of Clubs. Very, very nice. I have two pair now. The big blind checks. I make it 1,600, about half pot. Uh, the button folds, and now the big blind raises it up to 6,000. This is that aggressive professional player. I make the call. The river with 15,300 in the pot is the two of spades. He leads out for 12,000. I don't have anything to do here except for call, which I do. He has missed diamonds, and I win another really big pot. First break at the main, uh, started with 30,000 chips. Pretty good start, I got 91,000 at the break. We're getting this, we're, we're getting this dealer though, who knows, he may, he may, he may snap me off. <laughs> Anyhow, good start, 91,000. All right, second break at the main, I have 107,500. Chip leader at the table, I'm doing pretty good. 
All right, I'm cruising now. It blinds a 600, 1200, 1200. I have pocket jacks and the hijack. I have 145,000. Uh, the plus one player who's a pretty tight player makes it 4,200. I make the call. The cutoff then goes all in for 8,200. The plus one goes all in for 15,500. And I have to decide what to do. What would you do here? I want it all before I'm gone. Uh. I just have so many chips. I'm by far the chip leader. I think the average is about 55,000. I have 145,000. It's gonna cost me 8,200 even if I lose. There's no way I'm folding pocket jacks. So I make the call. The plus one has pocket kings. The cutoff has pocket aces. I have pocket jacks. The aces hold and I lose the other hand too. So <laughs> there was no help on the board for anybody. But I still think this is well worth the risk to gain, what, 26, 27,000 chips and only lose 8,000 uh, when I'm such a big stack. Third break, I have 127,000. I'm the chip leader. Average is about 52,000. I'm doing fine. I was up to 155,000 and I got some interesting hands this level, so we'll see. All right, blinds are at 1,000, 2,000, 2,000. I am under the gun with pocket fives. I have 120,000. I limp in with my pocket fives. There's another limper, then a really good player in the MP2, makes it 6,000. I decide to go ahead and make the call, set mine. Uh, I'm the only one. The flop with 19,000 comes king of diamonds, nine of diamonds, five of diamonds. I do indeed flop a said, but it's all monotone, so it's a little bit scary. Uh, I check, he makes it 5,000, and I make the call. The turn with 29,000 in the pot is a six of diamonds. Now there's four diamonds on the board. Uh, I check, he makes it 10,000. I decide to go ahead and make the call. I still have plenty of chips. I have plenty of outs. Let's go. The river, 49,000 in the pot. Bingo, bongo. A second six. I have a full house. I lead out for 17,500 and he tanks. And he tanks and he tanks and he tanks and he tanks for a long, long time and says, all right, I'm gonna give you credit for a full house, and he folds. Dang it. Hey, there's nothing like a little run good though, right? <laughs> all right, this 2000 level was a doozy. There's lots of hands. Uh, I'm in the small blind, ace of clubs, queen of hearts. I have 140,000, brand new player at the table uh, that had 55,000 in the plus one. Um, the under the gun limps. This player makes it 6,500. I make the call. Everybody else folds. We're the only two. So the flop with 18,000 in the pot comes ace of spades, eight of spades, five of spades, all spades. Uh, I check, he makes it 7,000. It's so unlikely he has a flush here and I've got a really good ace. So I'm gonna put him all in and put the pressure on. I shove all in and his effective stack of 48,500. He pretty much snap calls. He has pocket kings, king of clubs, king of spades. And the board runs out. Nine of spades, uh, four of diamonds, and he hits the flush. Mm, got my chips in ahead. That's all I can do. I then went to a new table. It was pretty much uneventful, and all the way to the dinner break, I had no more hands to share. After the dinner break, I got down to 83,000. Uh, first time the whole tournament, I was under the average. Average is about 110,000. We're about to go to fourth break. Uh, the horrible set of levels. I was up to 190K. 190K, now I have 93K. Uh, at 2,500, 5,000, I have pocket kings in the plus one. I have 96,000. Uh, the under the gun raises it up 17,000. I don't have a choice here. I shove it all in there for 96,000. He does make the call. Uh, the pot has 204,500 and the board comes. Ace, queen, seven, 10, eight. And I win the pot because he had pocket jacks. All right, fifth break. I had a huge double up, so I have 194,000, and the average is 162,000, so doing fine. 67 players left, we're playing down to 37 tonight. Hey, I was then fighting the bubble and trying to get down to the players who were gonna make it to day two. 68 out of 679 or something like that, we're gonna make day two. Uh, I pretty much stopped filming hands and, and recording hands uh, because I was, <laughs> concentrating on getting to day two. There was one hand and this was kind of interesting at this levels. I didn't record it, but I kind of remember it a little bit. Was, I was in the small blind. There was a big blind who was a guy who was real, real nice. I getting along really, really well with him. A lot of talk and banner and stuff like that. Um, I only had like 10 big blinds and it folded around to me. I completed 
and he checked his option. Now he knows that, gosh, if I'm completing, he probably could raise and he'd just take the pot. Anyhow, the flop came like eight high. I had an eight, I made a bet, and he folds and shows like ace king. <laughs> Of course, he could have just taken the pot from me uh, pre-flop. I think I had like 8-7 or 8-5 or something like that. So I got off the hook a little bit on that one. All right, Windstar River main event. I made day two. There's 68 counting the back for day two. So let's go, Mr. Bill. I'm a little bit short. I have only 10 big blinds, but there's a lot of people less than me too. So, all right, let's win some big money tomorrow. I want it all before I'm gone. Walking in for day two of the main event. All right, day two of the Windstar President's Day main event. Here we go. I got 165,000 blinds of five and ten. There you go. Well, this sucks. I lasted 20 minutes in the day two. Got it in the head twice. Our blinds are 5,000, 10,000 with a $10,000 big blind, Annie. I have 165,000. I have Ace of Clubs, Ten of Hearts. It checks around to the button, who's the small stack. He has 75,000. He limps, small blind folds. I shove. He absolutely snap calls with eight, nine of diamonds. <laughs> and the board runs out. Two, three, nine, Jack, Queen, Ugh. I'm down to 80K, eight bigs. So I make it all the way around to almost my big blind again. I'm under the gun. I need a hand. I look down at two red tens. I shove all in for 80,000. It folds all the way to the big blind. This woman has been just as uh, red hot to start the tournament. She calls with ace queen, and the board runs out. Ace, two, five, nine, eight, and my main event is done. Ugh. So the only thing I can be happy about is that. Uh, for today, anyways, was that I made good decisions. Uh, but neither one of them worked out very well. <laughs> I lost both hands. But, hey, I made really good decisions. I was ahead both times. That's all I can ask for. All right, the main event was relatively successful, just not financially. <laughs> uh, out of 679 players or something like that, uh, I ended up finishing 57th. I started day two in 49th place. Uh, hey, I got it in good twice. That's all I can do and you gotta hope that you run well I ran well on day one and I also played as well as I can possibly play so I'm very very happy about that And I can't do a single thing about day two. Uh, that's just how it goes The tournament costs five hundred dollars play. And I think I cashed out for nine hundred and eighty one So I made four hundred eighty one dollars <laughs> Disappointing, but I was very 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 happy in how I played as I've said many times before, it's not a matter of if people, it's a matter of when, when I win a really, really big ones, six digits or more. This Saturday, I'll be playing in Austin, Texas at the Texas Card House. Saul for Wise having a meetup game. Let's crush Berkey and Hunt and Soto and the boys. See you guys there. Hey, I just want to let you guys know, I am in a really, really good place right now in my life. Um, I've started doing seriously um, many more uh, personal Bible studies, and my wife and I are doing Bible studies also. And it just has helped me mentally, uh, spiritually, uh, like you cannot believe. I'm just in a really, really good place. And it affects every other area of my life. Uh, if you're having struggles, I would suggest you guys look into that. I've also got a tremendous set of wonderful friends, most that I've met from playing cards. Um, again, I mentioned this last week, Rob Jenkins gave me a book, uh, Tribe of Millionaires, which is having a big impact on me also about getting together with my friends uh, and my little tribe. So Rob, again, thank you. And again, that's a great book. If you want some inspiration, both personal, business, spiritual, take a look at that book. And I played a fantastic and very, very fun session at Hideaway with Trevor Savage of Raising the Nuts. He's already put his vlog out, and I'm about to put mine out next week. So look for that. It guarantee you, it's a lot of fun in this one. So with that, let's end this vlog. And as per usual, thank you guys for watching and subscribing and pressing buttons and commenting and saying hello to Mr. Bill. I really liked it when people said hello to me out at the Windstar main event. So thanks, guys. All right. I'll see you guys next week. You have a wonderful, fantastic, and blessed week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.
eating. No, it's finally my turn. You ain't know, you gon' learn. You don't eat, you gon' starve. That's the reason every season I'ma keep on going hard.